Welcome back, MLP fans, to another live reaction with Hungry Harmony, and this is gonna be Friendship is Forever, episode four, and I can't wait to get started, and I think this is gonna be a Rainbow Dash episode, and, um, mixed feelings about Rainbow Dash, because, honestly, she was my favorite pony, like, in the beginning, like, season one, two, three, and then, for some reason, she started to kind of be not the best pony, and I feel like she, I don't know, there's just a lot of conflict between Rainbow and a lot of other things that happen in the show, but you know what, but you know I should stop talking, we should get to the episode, my bad. We'll go to the episode, let's get started, woo! So, all I need to do is get Twilight to talk about a couple of memories? Yep. Twilight's so busy, the spa's the only place we could think of where you could run into her. Thanks again for agreeing to this. That makes sense. I know this place isn't exactly your kind of thing. It sure isn't. But, you know, mm -hmm. it's for Twilight, so I'm willing to suffer through anything. Yeah, you'll suffer. Uh, Look at this place. Rainbow Dash, so good to see you again. Would you like your usual suite of treatments? <laughs> you'll never get out of it. <laughs> even, even Spike was like, Here we go! Princess Twilight Sparkle! It has always been such a pleasure to serve the princess of friendship, but now you will be the ruler of all Equestria! Yeah, you will. Getting ready for the coronation is pretty hectic. I need some time for myself. Becoming a ruler is exhausting. Tell me about it. <laughs> Tell me about it. Massage I like because the, you do need that. So, what do you think the memories. Just how I was? Um, the first moment we met. Hmm. There's supposed to be a pedestrian pony named Rainbow. We go back to episode one. I just love how they Well, she's not doing a very good job. Fat pony! <laughs> oh man. Boing, 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 boing. That started everything. <laughs> Ten seconds. And twenty percent cooler, of course. Treatment 
for your thing exactly. What? <laughs> I mean, sometimes for an athlete, you really do need it. <laughs> Actually, I have never been to the spa, but I want to one to go one day to, work, to feel like what it really or what to know what it really feels like. So, will she get refunded? Probably not. Daring to reading. was the episode when I was so disappointed in Rainbow Dash because she broke. I'll tell you more about that later. <laughs> oh, pranks. Yeah, she loves to do pranks. <laughs> So is there like disappearing ink or just water or something or I don't know because actually the first time I heard about disappearing ink was in Sagwa Hey, let me know in the comments how many people know that show. That's my child Sagwa the Chinese Siamese cat Well, it could be a form of Easter Okay, keep bothering Twilight about this kinds of wow. I think it's nice. Yeah, that, that part of Rainbow Dash is not me. I love to th think things are awesome, but not that I'm awesome. Winter wrap up! Yes! That's cool. Look at all that just go! Winter wrap up, winter wrap up! But I gotta say, Rainbow Dash does do cool things. <laughs> Same. And she makes it. Ponyville qualifies. Stop wasting time. I'm going in. Rainbow, no. That 
is also a part of me. Except I don't go for violence first, but if I had to protect my friends, I would go like, Let's get him! Let's get him! Like, yeah! Maybe Stuff like that. When you relax! So sad. What are we going to do? <gasps> what we can do. Is this text from memory? What do you think yourself these days? Oh, whatever. That was a deep, deep, oh, deep right. episode. You'd love to spot the rainbow dash. I hate to say this, but, well, it's become a party cooper. Didn't you hear me? A party I said, whatever. I don't know if you're here to cheer me up or what, but I'm fine. No, you're so not. Rainbow Dash, your winter is going to be petless. <laughs> That's cool. Because she'll never get past this until she lets it all out. Hey, to point that up, Fluttershy. That's emotional, sure, but it was relaxing. Love it. Quiet moments are great, but not as great as being epic. Epic. One of my least favorite episodes, because honestly, Rarity scared me. I mean, I mean, I wasn't like a little kid or anything, but as in like, that, the makeup, I hate makeup, as in like wearing makeup and stuff like this, and that that just freaks me out, because too much eyelash and, or mascara and this and that just scared me. It's like, I don't even want to look at her. It was just too much. It was, I mean, it was a good episode, of course, but it was just too much. Oh yeah, and also the Wonderbolts being a total, um, Sorry, but there's. Th and here it comes! I couldn't, I couldn't even look either. Very first, second, Sonic Brain Boom! Go, 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 save your friend! Now that part is awesome, of course. It's a very close call. Very close. Honestly, I think Rainbow Dash should have gotten a Medal of Honor for that. I mean, saving the Wonderbolts and, of course, Rarity. I'm, you know, I would just say that it should be a Medal of Honor. Relax in my own quiet way. Oh dear. We still need a few more. Oh. Chances you can get Twilight to remember stuff in her own quiet way. Try it. Yes. My little pony. My little pony. Oh, I need a massage. I realize how much tension you hold in your blanket. Oh yeah, this is exactly what I needed. Oh. I love Rainbow Dash, but sometimes she can be a little much. That's one way to do it. Or get the memories. Let me guess, it's Rainbow Dash actually doing the massaging. Oh, this episode, yeah, I was very disappointed in this one. Rainbow Dash me. Okay, I think Rainbow Dash made a bunch of birds homeless. Yep. Ah! Way to save it in. You know, everyone probably saw that coming. Oh dear, poor guy. 
And lands in the cat and candy. Pinkie Pie support! Way to go, Rainbow Crash! No, <laughs> I would hide too. Oh, the pranking. A little too much. To be honest, that is kind of funny. I mean, stinky, but funny. A like classic pranking with a skunk kind of thing. <laughs> I thought this was funny too, because he keeps sticking it's less to I, <laughs> I thought this was a harmless plank. <laughs> I think it's not. <laughs> Look how many lessons Twilight has learned. Okay, that was cruel. Injured him. Oh, I kind of felt that. Oh, break. Maybe not quite so hard. Yeah, be nice, Rainbow Dash. I bet it's Rainbow Dash. There's no one. Sometimes, but she's the most loyal friend in Equestria. Even with Rainbow Dash's replacement, I don't think we're gonna qualify. No offense. No offense. I love how Jeffrey's like. Eh. It happens. Uh, what were you gonna do with them before? Ah, oh, yes! Chocolate chip muffins! I love chocolate chip muffins. <laughs> she is walking! With Soren right behind him. I'm glad that was not a spit take. Way to go. Because it's not just where I live, but it's where my friends are. The ponies who really care about me. Whether I can help them win a race or not. <laughs> this is where I'm like with Rainbow Dash. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm very competitive and I love to win. I mean, you know, competitive you want to win. But it's hard to choose. You want to be with a winning team. But I'm really proud of Rainbow Dash at that point the when he chose his, her own Ponyville. It's all true. We need you. Shut up. Oh. Thank you. That was cool. Has a heart. Another homeless bird. No, I'm just kidding. Looking good up there, Princess Twilight. Applejack, you know you don't have to call me that. Why do you protest so? You've already given up wearing your crown all the time. The least you can do is embrace your new title. If other as ruler of Equestria. 
It just doesn't feel right. <sighs> and neither does all this flying business. The Summer Sun celebration is only two days away, and I'm never going to be ready to perform my part. Hmm. If you spend all your time down here, you won't. Now get up there and show every pony the big finish. Yes. Go Twilight, go Twilight, go Twilight. Yes! Boing, bing, boom. Is your wings, is your wings? Ah. Actually, that's Toy Me. At least she didn't have a bad landing. <laughs> Think you never change. You guys were amazing! Yes, Buck Ball. It was flawless. I can't think of any way that could have been better. We could have won the game. <laughs> that game was just a sideshow. You guys were the main event! I'm Whoosh. glad to see such good sports pony ship on display. Your <laughs> cheer squad was an inspiration, Rainbow Dash. Oh start one in my school as well. Wow, Rainbow Dash. It's almost like you were the perfect pony to coach cheer squad after all. I remember this. Yes. Was this one of those things where you knew the lesson I needed to learn before I learned it? I was so proud of Twilight. I remember when I live reacted to this. Other ponies like as long as you care about the ponies who like it? Nope. Don't know what you're talking about. I think I titled it and the student becomes the master. <laughs> or teacher, I don't know, but I was like, yes. This hasn't exactly been as much as I was expecting, but it was pretty great all the same. And it's good to know I can always fall back on a career as a small pony if the wonderfuls don't work out. I wouldn't go that far. Yeah. Yay, they're done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but seriously. But seriously. <laughs> After that twilight, like, are, are you okay? We just had a good talking and no. Rainbow! Rainbow! You did? Just joking. <sighs> okay, to explain my reasoning for saying why I was disappointed Rainbow Dash in that episode when she declared herself an egg keg. I mean, I feel like that's too much. If people like to read, that is totally fine. But I became a fan when I was 17. So in 2015, actually it was probably 2015, 2014. I don't really remember. I was either 16 or 17. And I remember uh, when watching that episode and when Rainbow Dash said that she doesn't like to read or she hates to read. And I was like, yes, this is why I love Rainbow Dash because we're like the same, except for the ego thing is not, but we're the same because I hated to read. I didn't like it when my teachers or even like, or if my parents or someone said like, read this, read this. And I'm like, I don't like to read, sorry. And I'm like, it gives me, I have so many reasons why I don't like to read. And it's usually because of pain reasons, as in my head hurts or my eyes start to sting, and I literally lose track so fast and so easily when I read. So I would have to read the whole thing over again, or read the same word, or even sentence over again, because I could not remember, because I would doze off all the time, zone out every stinking time. So that's one of the reasons why I don't like to read, and I hate it when school said like, oh, read this book and write a book report. I'm like, I am going to fail. <laughs> So that's one reason and when and I remember in this is a quick story remember in high school um my English teacher said this she made the whole class close their eyes and she said that okay raise your hand if you like to read and I bet some people put up their hands and this and that and she kept going down the level like like to read likes to read but not as often or for, for fun and she just kept going down she's like okay who doesn't like to read and I kind of put my hand up but I felt like there was another like level gonna go down and then I put my hand down and then when she said okay who ultimately hates to read the da -da -da, and I just went like I literally I remember what I mean everyone's eyes are closed so no one can see what they're doing but I was like yes <laughs> I was like mm, determined because I really didn't and then after 
everyone did what they did. Then the teacher said, open your eyes. And then she said, okay, for those who didn't, like who put their hand up for the last thing, I am going to convince you, like it will be my job to convince you by the end of the year that you are going to like to read. And in my head, I was just like, I was looking at the teacher. I'm like, <laughs> in my head, this was like, you can try, but you will not convince me because I'm competitive. So in a way I made sure she did not, she did not convince me to read. Also, she was not one of my favorite teachers. So we didn't get along so well. So in a way, yeah, there was no way she was going to convince me no matter what. So in a way I stayed strong. Like I'm going to prove her wrong that I will not read or I'll like, I'll stay, stay to the point that I'll never like to read. And I'm not count and I'm not when I'm talking about reading as in like literature, like books that have like long pages, what I like to read, I'm saying this, I like to read is comic books or a manga, the Japanese version of cartoon or like uh, comics. So I like to read that. That's for sure. But that's pictures and also you can see a facial expression. It's just, you know, you know, some of you know what that means or what it is. So yeah, and um and when watching this episode, I was like, yeah, Rainbow Dash, yeah. And then towards the end, when she started to like to read, I was like, Rainbow Dash, you just lost. You just, lo you gave up. <laughs> For me, it was like the teacher almost convinced Rainbow Dash that, ha, I win. Like, you know, I got you to like reading. And that's the thing. That's when I thought of Rainbow Dash. I'm like, you just lost my respect. <laughs> Because you fell for it. Now you do. You are a pony like street. And I'm saying this. I'm not angry or mad at people who like to read. If you love to read, I'm glad. I'm really glad. And honestly, after like I graduated high school and now I am, I'm kind of jealous. I wish I liked to read when I was young because it does really improve your vocabulary. And honestly, like the way you communicate with people. And I wasn't really convinced or motivated when I was young to read because I didn't like it. I'd rather watch something. So this is literally a message to everyone. Please, reading is okay. Please do read. If you like to read, please read. And if you don't, please do read. Even if it's hard, just read at your own time. Don't, if you don't like it, you know, when people force you to read, it's not fun. It's like homework and not a lot of people like homework, like me. So in a way, to force you to read, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be less convincing for you. So in a way, I just, I just wish for everyone that whoever right now is in that stage and don't like to read, please do, it will help you in the future. Not saying I'm not doing so well right now, actually I'm not doing anything right now, but in a way, it will help your vocabulary. It will help the way you talk, the way you speak. It'll help your thinking. It'll move your brain a lot. Just do it. I mean, I'm still at the stage I don't like to read for fun. I still don't like to read for fun. But, or, of course, when the professor says, like, oh, read this, I'm like, oh, I'm gonna cry now. Um, but I literally have a problem with reading because I don't, I can't focus. I can't do this. So that's why I like to watch stuff. But I wish when I was young that I didn't, wasn't pressured to read because then I maybe would like it maybe that's my message sorry this was a long rant but i just really wanted to say my ex or explain to you guys in that episode when rainbow dash started to read like why it was like mm -hmm. like i lost respect for you bye <laughs> it's like you were my favorite whoops <laughs> i was so i was just disappointed in rainbow that's all i was just very disappointed that she gave up so that's my rant okay thank you guys for listening and i love this episode Getting back the memories of Rainbow Dash, and there's a lot more I would like to say that a lot of things that Rainbow need to learn, but it's okay, we don't have time for that. <laughs> there's a lot. Okay, well, that's all I have to say, and thank you for listening through this. If you did, then you're a true fan. <laughs> okay, um, that's all I have. Um, and if you guys like what you see, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe for more videos, more live reactions with Hungry Harmony. And that's all. Hungry Harmony, out. Friendship is forever.